Howdy, it's the AD Sheriff coming to you again. Uh, congratulations once again if you're watching this video. It means you bought the best AD on the market, the, the Heart Sign 350P or 360P or 450P. Today I'm going to demonstrate the 350P for you. Okay, and this is the unit itself. This is a live unit. Over here what I have is an actual training unit. But first I'm going to show you what the live unit, uh, a few things uh, that you need to know about it. So this is what your live unit will look like after you, of course, watch the video prior that shows you how to set it up. So you're looking for the green blinking light. It'll blink. There you go. Okay, so it's rescue ready. So you have your pads right here. So if you had to use it right there, on and off right there. And you have, of course, your ready kit that has your razor, scissors, mouth guard, and all that good stuff. And in the back case is where you have your PD pack if you've got a PD pack for children under 55 pounds, probably seven and under, okay? So that's what your live unit looks like. Now to show you exactly the prompts and the sounds and, and the instructions that you will give you, I'm gonna use the, the training device to go through that to show you how to use it. Now I have a remote, your live unit does not have a remote. This is for me, for the trainer, okay, to demonstrate that. So the first thing you wanna do uh, as you should know, since you probably took CPR class, is you're not going to use an AED unless the person is unresponsive. So as you see here, I have a mannequin. You shake them, unresponsive, right? Okay, so that's the only time you use it, no pulse and unresponsive. The first thing you want to do with the hard sign AED after you've already called 911, right? You've called 911. Uh, one person went to go get the AED. The other person, maybe you, will do some compressions until the person gets back. Let's say the other person gets back with the AD. Here it is. You push the button and you follow the prompts. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you what, I'm, what you're going to hear, and then I'm going to just go through it, and you can watch me do it, okay? So I'm going to turn on the AD. It will go through instructions, but I'm going to quickly, since you know where the pads are here, I'm going to take the pads out, put it on, and get it to the next step. So that's the main thing is after you've done 10 compressions, you want to get the pads on the person as quick as possible. You don't have to listen to every prompt, Okay. So let me just start with the, we got, we, we've done the compressions on the person, 10 compressions. The person's got back with the AED and we go ahead and turn it on and follow the instructions. From this point on, I'm not going to speak. You're just going to watch me do this. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Training scenario. One, adult patient. Call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Full green tab to remove pads. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Analyzing. Do not touch the patient. Stand clear of patient. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Press the orange shock button now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. Okay, so I pause it. So y'all saw there the how easy it is to use. I turned it on. I followed. I actually pulled the green tab right away. Did I not? And I got the pads on as quick as possible. Do y'all notice on the pads it had a picture of where the pads go? Now here's the thing. I could have done this. I could have put this pad down here and this pad up here. It makes no difference which pad you put as long as you get one here and one there. Okay. So that's one thing that's real important. The second thing is. Um, when it tells you analyzing, do not touch, you back away. And then when it gives you that prompt to push the button, you know what you do? You push the button. Do not hesitate. You cannot hurt a person. This has a built-in ECG, echocardiogram. It actually looks at the heart, and if the heart is in what we call ventricular fibrillation, VFib, and the medical people know that, that's the only way it'll tell you it needs a shock. You push the button, it'll do the shock, and then it'll tell you to start doing the the CPR compressions, as you heard, 
you do the compressions to the beat. Now, after two minutes of doing those compressions, if the first shock didn't work, it will tell you to st stand back analyzing. It will analyze like it did the first time, and if they need another shock, you know what it will do? It will tell you to push the button again, and you will. Okay? Do not hesitate to push the button once again. So the neat thing is, let's review real quick. The first thing you always want to do is make sure the person is unresponsive. They're, they're unconscious. Okay? The second thing you do is you call 911. Okay, one person go get, goes to get the AD. The other person gets them bare-chested and starts doing CPR compressions. Okay? As many as until the person gets back with the AD. The person gets back with the AD. They push the green button, pull out the pads, put the pads on, and follow the instructions. If you do that, the chance of survival will go up by 40-50%. So it's that simple. So as you can see, using the heart sign AED um, is very simple. Anyone could do it, uh, even the AED sheriff, so I know y'all could do it out there. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. Um, do not be afraid to use the AED. If you have any further questions, you go to our website and watch, or you can watch this video again or any of our other informative videos. So from Texas, this is the AED Sheriff signing off. Till next time.